Shabbat Shalom fam. Um, I wanted to come to y'all because, um, you know, I, I shared with y'all yesterday about the whole situation with Tiffany Haddish and the child prime. The day before, I was talking to y'all about uh, soul ties and Nick Cannon and the allegations against him. And um, I wanted to talk about this whole thing with this. Um, I got to be very careful about how I say my words, but I'm going to say this pedal culture. You understand what I'm saying? Um, we're sick of it. We're sick of these defilers. We're sick of this system of peddlers who are pushing their peddlers activity. We're sick of all of it. We're sick of the Transformers. We're sick of it. We're sick of being bullied. You know, about 10 years ago, a lot of these people who are involved in these quote unquote alternative lifestyles, they were going in and going on about how they're being bullied and they came up with a law, maybe before that Matthew Shepard law, because of what had happened to that young man who had been killed for his lifestyle. And from there, they took it and they ran with it. And they made the public, they made everybody in the public feel like they had to be ashamed for knowing the difference between right and wrong between good and evil. They passed laws saying that they were only going to teach certain curriculum out in California, teach their history while they conveniently reject the part of their history like Sodom and Gomorrah. We're sick of it. We are all sick of being bullied and being made to feel like something is wrong with us because we don't agree with this lifestyle. It's a country musician, and um, I'm going to link the article if I can um, in the comment section, but it's a country musician who just lost representation from his public relations manager because he supported his wife, who said, in her own separate Instagram account that she was thankful to her parents for steering her away from gender reassignment surgery when she was younger going through her tomboy stage and she said I love this girly life and he stood behind his wife his wife who might not have even been his wife had his parents had her parents decided to pursue having her gender changed because of a stage that she was going through. This is the making of this social credit system where this man's representation for his business, for what he does as a musician is being threatened because he stands for truth. And we're sick of it. Y'all are some bullies. Y'all are some straight bullies. You want to talk about being bullied? You're bullying the entire world because we don't want to see little children being taken advantage of. We don't want to see children involved in the child seg trafficking. You're bullying us. You say that you're being bullied? This is the state of the world that we're in now to where we are supposed to just accept this unrighteous lifestyle. You want to try to make it seem like everyone is against you. When in reality, you're pushing on the entire world something that the majority of the world knows is not okay. You yourself know it's not okay. And the reason why it is that y'all do what you do and feel comfortable doing what you do is because you are involving the use of pharmacaea in order to do so, in order to be able to mentally, psychologically, 
psych yourself into being able to perform the acts that you're performing on a regular basis, you have to give yourself a vice. Whether it's through alcohol, whether it's through pharmacia, you have to give yourself a vice in order to be able to do the things that you're doing. And you're setting up a system that ultimately is going to work against you. You're allowing the powers that should not be to manipulate you while you try to bully us. And we're tired of it. We're tired of you telling us that something is wrong with us for having an understanding of right and wrong. Something's wrong with you. You need deliverance. You are the one who needs to repent of your sins. You're the one who needs to confess your sins. You're the one who needs to be healed from your sins and your trauma and your issues that happened to you, many of you, when you were young. Many of you faced this same thing happening to you when you were young and instead of becoming an advocate for the young, now you have become a groomer. Now you are grooming and hurting the young. Now you're inviting them to your parades. Now you're inviting them to your bars. Now you're going to the libraries and reading to them. Now you're writing books and movies and script and singing songs about it. And telling us that if we don't want our children to be a part of that, that something is wrong with us. No, something is wrong with you. Deeply wrong with you. It's called demons. They've taken over your life. They've taken over your mind. You're in bondage to them. And now you're trying to put us in bondage to them. But no. No, my friend. We're not going to back down. We're not going to relent. The righteous are as bold as a lion. And we're not going to back down just because you say your feelings are hurt. And I don't care if you call us with a phobia. We're not afraid of you. The Most High did not give us a spirit of fear, but one of love, power, and a sound mind. And you're not going to take that soundness of mind away from us. We're going to expose you. Because that's what the Word says to do. We're not going to take part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but we're going to expose them and we're going to call you to repentance. And if you don't repent, then we're going to let you know that judgment is at your door. Judgment, the judgment of the Most High, Yahweh, who is judging the entire world, it is at your door. And if you think that your arms are long enough to box with the Almighty Yah, Go right on ahead and keep going in the direction that you're going in. But he said that it's better for a millstone to be tied around a neck and that person be thrown into the ocean rather than them offend one of his little ones. And we're tired of you offending our children. We're tired of it. We're not putting up with it anymore. And we don't care how you feel about it. And we don't care how you try to censor us. And we don't care how you try to make us out to be some sort of gremlin or some sort of... uh an inhumane person for being human. We're going to trust in the Most High Yah. And if you are one of these people and you get this message and you are being convicted by this message, then praise Yahweh. This is your time to turn around. This is your time to repent of your sins. This is your time to stop making excuses and stop siding with the devil who hates you just as much as he hates me. Because I'm not wrestling with you. And you're not wrestling with me. You think that you are. But the reality is, is that both of us are fighting a spiritual battle. But only one of us understands that. Only one of us understands what our real weapons are. The weapons of my warfare are not carnival, mighty and yah to the pulling down of strongholds. And you have a stronghold, my friend, that needs to be pulled down. But you've got to recognize it. That blood that was shed, that blood that was shed was not shed for me alone. It was not shed for just my brethren alone. It was shed on behalf of those who are willing to repent of their sins. The blood of Yahusha gave up his life so that you might have life. And that freedom is only going to be found in him. And I'm not talking religion. 
I'm not talking religion. I'm talking about true and everlasting freedom from the weight and bondage of sin and death only comes through him. He's the only one that can change you, change your life, renew you. So you can be angry right now. You could be heated right now for the things that I'm saying, but it doesn't even matter at the end of the day if you don't allow it to convict you of sin and unrighteousness so that you can be saved. Anyway, no more. No more. Darkness will never win. Yah wins.